Hi friends, uh, Maga Supreme here coming at you guys with a channeled message reading. Um, I usually do, I usually did these like every Saturday when I was like consistently making videos. Um, but since like I had to go on my forced hiatus and I gave me the month of January to like recover <laughs> from the whirlwind that was my life, uh, I figured that now like that is February and you know my moment of like respite is over I figured it's time for me to start getting back on like a serious schedule with my uh, videos so <clears throat> I'll start getting back on like making sure I stay up on my uh, astrology series and I drop videos here and there I have the time for it I just didn't have the motivation <laughs> or the energy but now that my uh month my, my my break is over. <laughs> I'm ready to get back into it and be much more consistent than I have been for the month of January. And that's just simply because I I couldn't muster the energy to do this consistently. I think I haven't like really sat down and like talked to you guys like or talked to my followers like actually since. And I think that'll do be something I'll do for like my Sacred Sunday video. I'll sit down, I'll talk and you know, catch you guys up on what's been happening and yada yada yada. Um because my life has really shifted and changed and like it has nothing to do with I mean it has everything to do with father and the power of manifestation and exactly what you want and i can't really i can't wait to sit down and like actually talk about that with you guys and like how so much has changed from like july to now like it was it was a very big journey a very big change but father was with me i was stepping away and i'm so thankful <clears throat> so yeah that's just me talking to you guys like like i said i really I missed <laughs> you guys. I really missed my subscribers. I really missed my channel when I was on my forced hiatus. I really, really missed doing this a lot. So, yeah, I just wanted to take the time to, like, really chat with you guys. Like, you know, most of you probably already skipped past this. But those of you, like, who's actually listening, like, thank you. I appreciate you rocking with me for so long. For being here, supporting me, and still showing up. <laughs> Even though I'm, like, terribly inconsistent. So thank you. <clears throat> now, as for the channel message today, I wasn't really like planning on like saying anything, but one word that just kept coming to me like over and over again as I was thinking about like, what could this possibly be about? The word that kept coming to my head is acceptance. But I felt like it wasn't just like, you know, just like acceptance as we know it. I felt like this was something about like accepting like responsibility or like acknowledging or like acknowledgement of where you are. At least in my particular messages, I keep getting the message of like, see where you are right now and celebrate because you know, you did it. You pulled yourself to this point. And this was like literally like for the second half of January, this has been like consistent messaging. So I'm feeling the same thing here, but <clears throat> I don't want to like really just read off of like the energy that I've been feeling around me and just come in here and like give a message, even though that's normally what I do. I just don't, I don't know about it, but I shouldn't doubt my intuition and I should just do what I do as I'm told. I guess I'm out of practice. So yeah, I kept feeling something about acceptance, about acknowledging where you are and accepting it as like where you are and being proud no matter where it is but always know that there's room for improvement and room for like to get to get better i'm gonna pull some uh some uh oracle cards because that's what i felt but the oracle cards would tell me what exactly really wants to be discussed today so let's see what we got Hmm. Happy, happy. It's the first one. The happy, happy card is all about like, at, well, it's exactly what it says. It's about happiness. The happy, happy card challenges you to like, find, to live in the moment and to like, accept what's happening. Like, I really, okay. All right. This is definitely about uh, having a period of like, actual fun and lightheartedness. I really think yeah, joy, contentment, a sense of feeling, and a feeling that all is well. 
Your desires are effortlessly fulfilled, effortlessly fulfilled now. Find joy in the present moment, period, and <laughs> whatever is happening. And be satisfied with things as they are. You're free from the shackles of longing and able to experience the liberation that comes from actually being happy moment to moment. You have chosen happiness over yearning for it. Now is the time for feeling the joy for the sake of joy and experiencing contentment. None of us, none of this is because of something outside yourself. Your happiness is a result of being one with spirits plan for your life. What the, what was I just talking about? Even from like my, my little rant at the beginning. I, and I had forgotten this fact, but father really don't have me looking a fool whenever I come on live. I, I've forgotten that. <laughs> okay. Your happiness is a result of being at one with spirits plan for your life. All is well. The tide is in for now. Enjoy playfully splashing in it. And when I tell you that this has been a consistent <laughs> message from when I read for myself or I go to YouTube and find other readers, this message has, it has not left. And I didn't want to like sit here and say it because like, like I said, this was the energy that keeps coming around me. But here it is. It just showed up in the cards just again, yet again. Let you guys know I'm not talking out the side of my neck. The and the theme of this reading is acceptance, taking whatever wherever you are in the moment and making the most of it. Um, for some of us, we probably just achieve something really, really big, uh, or just achieve something that you really just set out to do. And now that you had that achievement, or I know I've been fighting the urge to just find like the next big thing to do or to like really realize like, okay, I've done this thing, but now I still got this and this and this and this. Don't do that to yourself right now. Uh, if you're watching this and you know, <laughs> you're feeling this, you picking up this vibe, don't do that to yourself. Really take the time out to enjoy your life like as is. That's exactly what I took that whole January off for. But it's for me to like really process this message and to like really figure out what it means to like live a life where you're like happy and content. Where you're not always having to put out fires left, right, and center. Where, you know, you can just like be in a period of like of happiness, of peace. And it's, it was, it's definitely new for me. And it's something that this message here is something that I've been trying to like really absorb and like bring into myself. And it's funny that it's coming out again. So this is something that we that a lot of us has to like pay attention to. <sighs> really making sure that we allow our achievements to be our achievements. And instead of just like kind of constantly trying to find the next high or the next or the next obstacle to overcome, just simply enjoy the fact that you overcame this barrier, this obstacle, because this one was a big one <laughs> and you did it. So let's get another card here. Mm. We got new life. Again, the message just seems so very consistent here. With new life, this speaks of a brand look and this woman just coming out and hatching out of the egg. Again, this ha this cycle of happiness and peace might really be new for you. Um, yeah, it might really honestly be new. But this is a promise that this happiness is like kind of here to stay. Like, I know, and I'm guilty of this too. Like, whenever we have like those happy moments, yeah, we're here to deal with it and we have fun. But knowing life, we're like, okay, so when's the other shoe going to drop? Like, <laughs> so, when, so when's the problems going to start? But... I'm getting a feeling here with the happy, happy, and a new life that that's just not going to be it. Like, this is a cycle of happiness. A cycle of, like, actually making sure that you enjoy your life. And, like, things are coming in that you're being contented and fulfilled. This is a brand new cycle, a brand new life that's starting. And I'm hearing, like, you better get used to actually not being, get used to not being disappointed. Um, it's scary for me to not get my hopes up, but, <laughs> you know. This is the message that's coming out. And like I said, this is something that I've been, at least me personally, have been consistently hearing, like, literally all Jan most of, like, January. Like, same message. No matter what deck, what card I use or who's reading for me, it's the same message that comes out. Such is the, same, such is the way that spirit works. <clears throat> and it's coming out here. So maybe, you know, it's not just me. Maybe some of you guys are meant to hear this, too. But your life is definitely not is changing. It has changed. Because you, as you can see, this woman is broken out of this shell. And it's the first time I really feel enjoying to say that. 
this is you hatching and waking up into your new life where everything is just happy and contentment is fulfilling and you get what you put in you 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 get out of whatever you put in like if you're putting in hard work and effort to like you know to get a promotion then that effort and hard work is going to be recognized and you'll get that promotion like whatever it is that you are willing to work for it's gonna it's gonna happen for you the exchange is open <laughs> and looking at cart <clears throat> that pulled at the top is a change in the wind things are really shifting and changing for you for all of us or it has shifted and changed it's time whether you know it or not like if you're really picking up this energy if you're like yes i know this is me like wow you're so right i did just achieve this thing but like yada 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 you know what i'm talking about you feel the energy here you know what's coming out in this reading if this is you like <clears throat> for real like if this is you then you need to really get used to like having to being happy being fulfilled and being contented because it's kind of what's going to keep happening it's kind of the trend that's gonna that's gonna keep showing up in your life so that was very helpful so let's get some tarot cards around this as well just to get a little bit more uh, energy uh, and a little bit more fleshed out we'll get this message a little bit more fleshed out <sighs> The nine of cups came right out the nine of cups is all about wish fulfillment and it came out right under the happy happy card which is hilarious this is about actually having your wishes come true being contented and fulfilled uh all by yourself like this isn't about you but for another person this is about you going out for your dreams and your goals because in the eight of cups this person left everything that they knew and loved behind to set out for their own version of happiness and they ended up getting it this is really reminiscent of the work that you put in to get to the point to where you are now, pal, uh, pal, guys, whoever, if you're watching this, if you were to get to the point to where you are now, this is the sacrifices that you have to make finally coming back for you. And like, you know, up, 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 I'm feeling like elevating you, like bolstering you the sacrifices that you made that that's energetically coming back to support you. You're getting everything that you lost. Wow, you're getting everything back that you've lost. Everything that you sacrificed for this goal is going to find its way back to you. Because I feel there's a sense of some someone or something that's like actually quite impressed with the fact that you will that you were willing to go through with this, that you did it. So everything that you that you sacrifice is going to be coming back for you. And the nine of cups here also speaks of like actually being contented, fulfilled, and having a wish come in. The nine of wands. This is because this is the energy that you displayed and going towards this new life. I'm feeling that <laughs> that devil may care attitude. Like this is what I want, and I'm going to go for it. Um, you whatever it was that probably led you to this point maybe it was like maybe a split decision or maybe it was a decision that you didn't exactly think out maybe it was just something like this is my gut and i'm going to go for it and i'm going to do it but it was that kind of attitude that kind of like <laughs> that kind I'm, I'm hearing faith even though it might not have been like a faith-based move i'm hearing it's that kind of faith that allowed you to like actually like do this the Knight of Wands is impetuous, it's quick, it doesn't really always consider all the consequences, nor does it even like look at a path, look at the path ahead of it sometimes before it goes charging. This is you picking a direction towards your happiness and going for it. <laughs> Nobody cares. Like who I don't really like you just going for it and no one can stop you with the Knight of Wands here. Like that's the energy I'm feeling here. Like, I don't care. I want this. I want to be happy and I'm going for it. And it was that kind of attitude that led you towards your contentment here, towards getting this wish fulfillment that you wanted, this happiness that you, that you, I'm hearing that you desperately needed. I'm filling two more cards, the Queen of Pentacles and the Moon with the Ace of Wands at the bottom. So we got the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles and the Moon. Now, with the Queen of Pentacles and the Moon coming out together with the 
ace of wands at the bottom again this is that that symbol that symbolism of something new of something new and exciting that you can like really get behind the ace of wands is like it's like an inspired passion or maybe like i want to say an idea but an idea but it's more like an inspiration the energy of the ace of wands to me always feels like more like a muse like it's coming to you to let you know like hey you know, wouldn't it be a good idea if you did this too? Or don't you want to go and do that? I feel like with the Queen of Pentacles and the Moon, this was something that you desperately craved. This stability, this ability to like really take care of yourself. This could also be like a big financial improvement as well. This ability to take care of yourself or to care for your family the way that you've always wanted to. This is something that you that you desperately wanted or wanted deep on a on a deep uh, level here with the moon card. Maybe you wasn't even aware of the fact that you wanted <laughs> that you that money was more important than what you gave credit for in your life. Um, that you actually want to be comfortable, secure, and and uh, and things of that nature. The Queen of Pentacles here is like really here to let me know like things are like kind of okay where you are like well better than okay things are pretty good where you are like maybe you can afford to like to at least cover your base your basic necessities now and it's just something that's like actually making you like very very happy and it's taking a big weight off your shoulders but with the moon card here it's letting me know that there's even more for you with the moon and the ace of wands here and then we have the four of cups and the high priestess okay okay the moon card here is letting me know that there's more in store. Like there's a lot more that you want fulfilled and that you want out of life and is meant to and it's going to start happening because we even have it appearing under the change in the wind. Like there's going to continue to be more changes. There's going to be new things that come to you when you least expect it. That's brought to you by your spirit guides, your intuition, your your feminine energy just you attracting the things that you want because you're allowing to be in this energy of play of fulfillment and contentment and this is the vibration that you really need to be in to allow more blessings to come in this is how you have to be you have to enjoy <laughs> where you are and actually like be grateful for it so this is really really big like not only have you like reached uh, uh, had a wish come true because you were tenacious and pursuing it you went and you did it and everyone else be damned but now that you that you did this you're in a period uh, area now where you can be much more secured and comfortable in your life with the queen of pentacles here but in the future there's definitely more in store it's more mystery ahead of you but for now I'm getting a feeling like it's not going to be going, it, there's not much detail that's going to be given about it, especially since I've seen the Four of Cups. Uh, I, I linked it with the Four of Cups, like, energetically. It's like, you're going to have to go through your life, and these are going to come in like little surprises, little change in the wind, little changes in the wind being brought to you. And you just have to really be in an area where you can accept it, or at least understand and recognize it into, intuitively. Your intuition and your connection to spirit or your whatever or the universe, whatever you whatever you call it, whatever you call them. Your connection to that force is what's okay. going to be driving you and pushing you forward and bringing in these things. You know it. You believe it. Here's your confirmation. All right. Let's do another Oracle deck just to get more energy. As you guys know, for these type of readings, I like to pull a couple oracles and some tarot, so we'll see, we'll see. Though I already feel like the message is pretty comprehensive. So, <clears throat> let's get some more, some more uh, cards around this energy. I really want to ask about the future. Can, can we get a, a, a look at what's to come? And what energies we can expect thematically. Please and thank you. <laughs> Let me see. Okay. That's not right. I hate shuffling these cards. Because they do not pull very well. There's always multiple that comes out. I just need one. This one card. Oh. 
miracles. <laughs> expect the wonders to emerge. I asked about the future and what it is that we can expect. And here we see miracles. Expect the wondrous to emerge. I'm going to read this card. This is very interesting to see for the future because this is also, like, like I said, it went in with the moon, the ace of wands, the four of cups, and the high priestess. The things that you want is going to be coming for you. The path ahead is filled with miracles, blessings, beautiful things, cleansing, <laughs> purification of your life. The path ahead is filled with these things. and But it's all meant to be a secret. It's all meant to come for you when you least expect it. I really feel like the universe wants to surprise you because you're finally getting it. You're finally understanding what your life is meant to look like. This going on a path for what it is that you want. Letting no one stop you and achieving. You you get you got the formula now. And this is why applying that formula going forward is going to keep working for you. Just around the bend, a miracle is waiting to happen. Release fear and uncertainty and majestic wonders and majestic wonders wait to unfold for you. Watch for them and embrace them. Some come in an unlikely form. Trust all is folding for your highest good. Expect miracles in your life. And this comes back to the energy of the high priestess. Like I said, your intuition is going to be very, very big for this. All these new blessings that's going to come in, they might not always take the form of what you expect or what you think. I know in my path, it didn't. <laughs> I didn't expect this. I didn't think it was going to look like this, but I seen an opportunity. I took it, capitalized, and I ended up somewhere else. And it's going to keep happening. And this is something that's going to keep happening. But you need to be open and receptive in your intuition to recognize these opportunities going forward. <clears throat> what is expected tends to be realized. The more you become aware of the small marvels in your life, the more they grow in magnitude. This is exactly what I was talking about, about honoring your achievements and, and being in that energy of fulfillment and the blessings continuing to grow. Celebrate and cherish them when they appear, no matter how small they may seem. What others seem see as ordinary, the sacred traveler sees as wondrous. Look to your, look at your life in a new way. Let go of fear and expectation and allow the creator to solve your challenges in mysterious and wondrous ways. Don't limit the way you think miracles can appear in your life. All is well. Come on. Like I said, this has been a consistent message for me. And it's coming out even stronger now that I'm recording it. On the, now that I'm recording it, like actually sitting down and getting this message down, it's coming out double tripling down. So maybe it's meant for me to see my own signs that I'm supposed to be doing this and giving these messages. <laughs> I swear to God, this message has not left me like at all. I've been enjoying the energy and I guess it's time to share. One more for the future. And then we can get close to wrapping this up. I swear, protected by angels come out. I'm going to scream. Just one more card. I'm starting to heat up real bad. That's how I know I'm feeling it. The energy is all around me. I'm starting to burn up. Come on. I just need one card. One card. Why are you always so difficult? I understand you want to just throw blessings, but come on. You just need one card. Let's focus this energy and let's get it right. So I can move on, please. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we have Wondrous Universe, which is beautiful. To me, it's always been a companion card to Miracles because they talk about the same freaking thing about the universe, about creator, about spirit, assisting you, <laughs> working with you, changing your life around you to make you happy. This is literally the cycle that you're stepping into. Like, it's like your faith is about to start being rewarded. And I got big goosebumps when I'm saying that. And I feel so excited. Like, even here, with embracing enthusiasm, what does it say? Shout to the heavens. Shout to the heavens with happiness. This is your spirit, father, God, whatever you want to call them. You guys know I say father. Father is really 
mm, really putting his fingers, his hands, like, all up in your life. Before, it was like, maybe he was just, like, passively observing, watching you cook. But now it's like, okay, hands in. Like, it's time for me to start helping out and showing my true power. You you done, you passed the trials, and now it's the time for you to start reaping some, some reward, some benefit from your faith. And here it is. <laughs> and here it is. Miracles, the wondrous universe, beautiful things happening for you almost by magic. This is literally what's coming out for the future. Miracles and the universe supporting you. And both of these cards speak of the universe of creator coming in, solving your problems and helping you out in mysterious ways. Let's look at, let's read the wondrous universe cards because this is one of my favorite cards in this deck. I'm telling you, I love the one, the wondrous universe. I love this card. I'm always down to read it because it always makes me so happy whenever I see it. <clears throat> this is a card that doesn't come out too often. <clears throat> you live in a beautiful and wondrous universe. You are a beautiful being. Take time to see and cherish the wonders of life wherever you go. It, transform your, it transforms your life. There is a remarkable beauty within you. Simply acknowledging it allows it to surface even more. The time you take to create beauty in your home will manifest in your life. In native traditions, walking in beauty means to honor all the natural cycles of life and to experience a sacred communion with the creator in all things, including oneself. The sacred traveler wants you to know there's always beauty around you and within you. The sacred tra traveler constantly looks for and embraces the majestic, wondrous universe in all forms. You can hear it in the song of an early morning bird. You can smell it in the aroma of freshly baked bread. You can see it in the way that clouds float across the sky. The more you seek beauty, the more you, the more it will find you, and the more you will find yourself in a beautiful world. This is definitely about changing your perspective on life and how you see it. Things are about to start getting wonderful and beautiful, and you need to be able to see it, <laughs> to acknowledge it, to understand that things are happening, that my life is better than what it was. For some of you, like, if you really relate with this message, my life is better than what it was. And it's time for me to shout, scream, be enthusiastic, give my praise, and go out and, and enjoy this life that is being built for me. That I that I took the first step in, in building and in, in setting the foundation on. That I No, not the first step, the first steps to building this foundation. It, I really get the, the feeling like it's like a relay race. You, you legged it all the way up to this part exhausted sweating like crazy almost out of breath but you kept going and then finally you made it to pass the baton and the person that you're passing the baton to is father and he says don't worry i'm i'm taking it <laughs> like I'm, I'm gonna help you out and it's just so many so many beautiful things that's being shifted and changed and in your life and in this energy, it's overwhelming. It's crazy. And the only thing you can do is just give thanks. So I'm going to take this time right now to give thanks to Father, uh, to God, to the, <laughs> the Most High Elohim. Thank you so much for your your blessings. And, like, really, this is, this is insane. This is insanity. Like, this is such an overwhelmingly positive message. And I know this is true. I feel it. Like I said, this has been a message that's been around for a long time in my energy and i'm glad that it's here and it's not going anywhere and it's doubling and tripling down on itself i'm so thankful for the help and the assistance that i get in the spiritual realm and i can't help <laughs> and i can't help but to show nothing but love and thankfulness to my father to the universe to the most high like i'm gonna try not to cry here but <laughs> this was such a beautiful message and it hit it's so timely I think it's hit coming stronger because it's coming out of my own mouth <laughs> instead of hearing it from other people. <sighs> All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this off of a rune. You guys know how much I love my runes. So let's get pick one, get a me quick message from it, and then I will be ending this video. But this has been overwhelmingly positive confirming for me in more ways than one <laughs> i love this reading 
And hopefully you guys will too, if it applies. Come on, come on. The get out room, I swear to God. Father does not have me looking like an idiot. The Yara Rune is the mark of a new year. It's the, it's the start of a new harvest, a cycle of harvesting. Remember how I was saying all the work that you're putting in, you're going to start getting out? That's exactly what the Yara Rune talks about. This is the, the Rune of Harvest, the Rune of the Year, the Yara, <laughs> the Rune of the Year. With the Yara Rune coming out and giving its blessing here, this is definitely letting you know that a brand new cycle, a brand new life, is in fact starting that in this life you're meant to reap and harvest all the seeds that you've been that you've sown or even the new seeds that you're going to be sowing all of it's meant to be harvested and collected the yada rune is overwhelmingly positive it like i said is the the rune of, of cycles of long cycles because it's the yearly cycle and <clears throat> like i said i feel like it's been a you're stepping into a long cycle of change miracles and beauty this half, this portion of your life is about to be extremely different from what you've always, always known. Where maybe you feel like you've been putting in a lot of work but haven't really been getting everything back. It's going to change in this cycle. Everything is shifting and changing. Don't, don't get me to understanding what it is that, that why, why this is happening. Probably because you took those steps, you showed initiative and you didn't give up or quit. But now, now. All the work that you put in is going to start coming back to you. So it's important to realize that if there's things that you want, you know, it's okay to put a little bit of effort into it, but also realize that spirit and father is working on your side now. You don't have to work as hard as you did before to achieve these things because you have an even greater support now. So, yeah, <clears throat> this was a very, very beautiful reading. Uh, the rune sealed the reading perfectly. I couldn't ask for a better video, <laughs> for a better message. I, I literally couldn't. Um, I want to give thanks to the Father, the Most High God, uh, the universe, whatever you guys call them. You guys know I call him Father. <laughs> give my thanks to Father for the love and support, for him and his angels for always being a part of my life, uh, part of my spirit team and doing whatever. And I highly, highly urge you guys, especially if this video resonated with you, to immediately give your praise and thank you to the universe or whatever spirit entity whatever it is that you pray for because beautiful things are coming in and <clears throat> it's best to show some gratitude for this because this is overwhelmingly beautiful so thank you guys so much for your time and energy and please be blessed bye